Now for the last objective in this video. One of the things you should know about any microscopic image is the actual size of the object or specimen. There are two methods for calculating sizes of objects. One, the ocular micrometer method, and two, measurement of the field of view method. The ocular micrometer method uses an etched piece of glass that is inserted into an ocular lens. Such an ocular lens often has a focusing mechanism to allow one to see clearly the ocular micrometer as well as the microscopic image of the object being viewed. The divisions on an ocular micrometer must be calibrated at each magnification setting of the microscope to a stage micrometer. A stage micrometer is nothing more than a very fine ruler. In fact, one can use a millimeter ruler to calculate most magnifications. For the field of view method, simply measure the size of the field of view of each magnification setting with a ruler and then compare the size of the object with the size of the field of view. For example, if a field of view at a certain magnification is 1.6 millimeters across and the object covers one half of that field of view, then the object is about 0.8 millimeters long. For fields of view that are too small to measure with a ruler, you can estimate the field of view from the magnifications. For example, if at 200 magnifications the field of view is 1.2 millimeters, but it is too small to measure at 400 magnifications, then you can use a simple algebraic formula to calculate one unknown number with the three known numbers, in this case 0.6 millimeters. In this section we have examined how to calculate the size of an object by two methods, with an ocular micrometer and by using the field of view. This is explained further in the booklet accompanying this video. Now, let's review the six learning objectives of this video. 1. Identify and describe the functions of the parts of a stereoscopic microscope. 2. How to set up, adjust, and use a stereoscopic microscope. 3. Identify and describe the functions of the parts of a compound microscope. 4. How to set up, adjust, and use a compound microscope, including oil immersion. Five how to calculate the magnification capabilities of a microscope, and 6. How to estimate the size of a microscopic object.